all right so to begin with i have this shape ready with me just create a random shape of the eyebrow that you want to create and here i'm showing you the shape of hair strands that we are going to create so this is the kind of shape that you want to create you want to um, add these two hair strokes first like this then fill it in with two or maybe three hair hair strands in between the shape so i'm using technical pen from inking brush set because it's a nice brush set i use it for everything as in i use it to create eyelashes hair and eyebrows as well if you're using some other software or application it's okay just find a good calligraphy brush or maybe inking brush any brush which is just as similar to this one as I'm using in this video or any any brush which is kind of thick when you you know start with the stroke and goes off which ends thinner in size or if you don't have any kind of brush in your application what you can do you can always go ahead and play around with the settings and you can adjust the fall off setting if I am um, saying it right fall off something like that um, this setting actually controls the size of the brush um, when it ends I hope this is making sense or the end part of the brush I hope this is making sense I'm trying my best to explain you guys so basically uh, you want to have a brush which you know when you draw a stroke in the end it fades or in the end it's really really thin as you guys can see here so I created so I'm creating the shape that I showed you initially and I'm then filling it in with lighter hair strokes other good thing about this brush is if you put much pressure it's a little bolder and if you put light pressure it's thinner and crispier so you also want to make sure you are using a brush which does that and so you can play around with pressure sensitivity while creating the eyebrows because you don't want to switch back and forth between brushes it should be a very smooth and nice process so yeah i am adding these little shapes and then filling them in with hair strokes and that's how i am gonna fill in the whole eyebrow as you guys must have noticed i didn't do anything in the front part of the eyebrow because there i'm just gonna add random hair strokes and not gonna create these shapes there as i'm adding here so these little shapes are you should add these shape more towards the end part of the eyebrows and not really on the front part of the eyebrows and as to where the direction of the hair strokes should be they always should be pointing towards the end part of the eyebrow as you guys can see here every hair stroke or every hair strand uh, is actually pointing towards the end part of the eyebrows and that's what you want to do you can just follow the tutorial as it is to make sure you're getting it right once you practice it you know it'll be really really easy for you to do and you can actually then you can you'll be able to create any kind of eyebrow eyebrow creating eyebrows is really really easy once you get the technique right and once you get a you know once you find a perfect brush for it so yeah again if you are not using procreate you might want to experiment with different brushes as well all right so yeah that's what i'm doing here again also colors depend on you so if you want to use a black color go ahead with that if you want to create a black kind of eyebrow make sure you're using um dark grayish kind of color for the hair strokes because complete jet black color might look off so as you guys can see here um in the front part of the eyebrow i am creating the shape but i am not really pointing that shape towards the end part of the eyebrow and those shapes are really light i'm mostly just adding random hair strokes here and there and not really concerned with the shape that i created on the entire eyebrow again uh, the hair strands are just gonna um you know look upwards or move in the direction or are pointing 
in the upward direction rather than pointing towards the end of the eyebrows so yeah now we have a base ready for the eyebrow now what you can do is you can create another layer and you can add more hair strokes just to make it look that much bushy and that much you know kind of realistic now not just realistic even if you are uh, you can also kind of create a eyebrow which is not that bushy and it's kind of pretty uh, thin on the thinner side but yeah I here I wanted to create really fuller bushy kind of eyebrows so what I did I created another layer right underneath it and I started adding more hair stroke but this time around I was putting much pressure onto the screen to make sure that the hair strokes are much thicker than the previous ones so that's what I'm doing here I am just gonna fast forward the process a little bit Now once you're happy with the hair strokes what you need to do is create another layer and find a color which is lighter than the color you use to create the hair strokes and now we're just going to fill the shape in and I'm using soft airbrush to do so. I'm just going to randomly add this color and fill the eyebrow in and yeah that's what I'm doing right here. Also on my layers panel just ignore all the other eyebrows I have on different layers I was actually just practicing so yeah so just fill in the shape and do not worry about it being perfect yet because we are gonna clean it out so also make sure in the front part of the eyebrow you're not adding much color or much pigmentation of the color because that part is gonna be much lighter as compared to the end part of the eyebrow that's how it goes unless you are going for that look only so yeah that's what i did and then i went ahead and took the eraser and i started cleaning up the mess a little bit here and there and i also just went over the color a little bit especially on the front part of the eyebrow just to make sure it's lighter now what you want to do is you want to merge two layers where you created the hair strokes or the hair strands and you can either just you know create hair strands in just one layer you don't have to create two layers so what i'm doing here is i'm picking up blending tool and in the blending tool i am using soft air brush and what i'm doing here is i am blending these hair strokes now you have to keep in mind when you blend these hair strokes the focus should be more on blending these starting points in the end points of the hair strokes and also the middle part but make sure you're not blending everything out and to do that make sure the size of the brush is small and also make sure that you're not putting much pressure onto the screen because we don't want to blend everything out we just want to blend the harshness of those hair strokes because the brush was pretty harsh so I mainly focused on blending the um, starting point in the end point of the head stroke and also yeah that's what I'm doing here and I'm just gonna blend it all out and just gonna fast forward the process a little bit So that's how the eyebrow is looking it's looking perfect you are actually basically done so what what I did I went ahead and decreased the opacity of the layer where we added the color where we filled the whole eyebrow in I just you know decreased the opacity because I just wanted to bring that bushiness out so yeah that's what I did and here you are done that's how you easily create eyebrows on Procreate or any other software that you want to use, it depends on you. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you guys in my next tutorial.